All right, Shalom, I'm out there. Uh, first and foremost, before I get started, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Or I want to give double honors to the apostles at Great Millstone who taught us his word. Why Shalom to all you brothers out there that's teaching his word in truth and sincerity. All right, back at it, another lesson. Um, as you brothers can see, uh, the title of this lesson is going to be basically how, uh, you know, uh, falsehood is at an end. You know what I'm saying? And, and truth has sprung up, man, you know, because um, that's the time that we're in. That's the time that we're living in, man. You know, we're living in a time where the Lord is revealing, you know, the truth, man, in, in all aspects, you know what I'm saying, of, of life, man. You know, everything that this this devil put as uh, everything that he put out there, you know what I'm saying, which was deceit. It's all being um, it's all being quenched all right, with truth, man. You know what I mean? Down to um, who we are as a people. Okay. Um, us being the true Israelites, man. Are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native and Seminole Indians, man? You are the 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 the, uh, the sons and daughters of, of the Lord, man. You know, in this book, you know, this is all our history, you know, and this is about us, man. You know what I mean? That first and foremost. All right. Then you got um, the celebrity world. Okay. You know what I'm saying? We, we all know that um, in the celebrity world, they got to do these immoral acts. Okay. And, um, you know, things to, to get that power, man. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Um, you know, that's basically the, the premise of this lesson. Lord willing to be edifying it to you, uh, brothers and few sisters out there. I got a couple scriptures, you know what I'm saying? And then, um, you know, closing them out. So I'm going to start with, uh, second address, the seventh chapter and, um, starting at, uh, verse 42. It says, he answered me and said, this present life is not the end where much glory doth abide. Therefore, they have prayed for the weak. But the day of doom shall be the end of this time and the beginning of immortality for it to come. Right. And that's and that's what it is in this time, man. OK, the, the day of doom, meaning uh, destruction, because how is this place going out? All right. It's going out via uh, nuclear missiles, man. You know what I'm saying? You got Yahweh Shai coming back with the chariots. All right. It's going to add to the fire here. OK, this place is going to be burned with fire. All right. So the day of doom shall be the end of this time. This time we're living in now. All right. Because this is the last captivity. All right. That we're going to uh, be in as a people. All right. Up next is, is the kingdom. All right. Ain't going to be another nation that's going to rise up. You know what I'm saying? And take us down because, you know, what I'm saying we we sinned against our power, man. You know, now. The Lord is going to have his elect, okay, be, uh, get up out of here, all right? And then the two-thirds of our people, they're going to perish, man, okay? So we're going to be brought out this land. It says, um, but the day of doom shall be the end of this time in the beginning of, of the beginning of the immortality for to come, you see? It made me think of this scripture real quick. Let me, let me grab this in, uh, Jeremiah. Was that 16? It's like, I think I spelled that wrong. Jeremiah 16. Let's get that. You know what I'm saying? Because immortality meaning not, not prone to die, basically, man. You know what I'm saying? And when we get those new bodies, you know, that's, that's what it's going to be. Okay. I'm going to start here at Jeremiah 16 and 14. All right. It reads. One second. Okay. It reads, it says, um, therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that it shall no more be said, the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. Right. Talking about the time of um, uh, Exodus. You know what I'm saying? So like, let me put this Jones on. Um, uh, do not disturb real quick. Let me put this on. Do not disturb real quick. All right. So it says, therefore, behold. The days come, saith the Lord, that it shall no more be said, the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. Right. Talking about the time of Exodus where the Lord got us out of there. OK. Uh, from Pharaoh. You know, we, we was in captivity then. OK. You know, uh, under the Egyptians. All right. The Lord got us out of there uh, via the chariots following us. You know, pillar, uh, pillar of cloud by day, pillar of fire by night. You know. It's like just roughly paraphrasing, you know, but everybody knows about that, that story, man. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So it shall no more be said that, uh, about that story, 
Verse 15, but the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north. Right, right here, okay? North North America, man. All right, where the Lord, um, this is where he going to get us, man. This is where the great destruction is going to be and also the great deliverance, man. That's going back to second edges. All right, going to that immortality, man, you know? Because at that point, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's ruling time, you know what I'm saying? New management officially under the, the whole earth, man. All right? And we ain't going to no more uh, die. You know, we ain't going to no more sin. Okay? So that's that time of the beginning of immortality for to come, man. You know, that's the start of it. All right? It says, But the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north and from all, all the lands where he had driven them. Right? Because the elect is scattered. Okay? Throughout the four corners of the earth. So you got you got brothers over there in um, you know, Europe, you know what I'm saying, Australia, you know, all, you know, the four corners of the earth, man. The elect is there, you know what I'm saying, with their families, all right, including the uh the one third, man. All right. It says, And I and I will bring them again into their land that I gave unto their fathers. You see? So so that's the part of that beginning of immortality for to come. All right, let's go back to um second edge seven. Uh yeah, second edge seven. Um in forty-three. It says, But the day of doom shall be the end of this time, and the beginning of immortality for to come. Where corruption is past. Okay? And it, it this time, this is it's a lot of corruption here, man. All right. And due to all right, this this uh the so called white man ruling, which is Esau Edom. This is this is his uh kingdom. All right. And it's ran off corruption, ran off of lies. All right. A lot of uh, murder, you know, what I'm saying and, and death, man. You know, that's how he got this land. OK, where corruption is past and temperance is at an end. All right. And temperance. Let's, let's look up that word if we can, man. Um, let's go to Google. And temperance. Yeah, <laughs> intemperance definition. This is what I, what I got right here. It says the lack of moderation or restraint. You know what I mean? Excessive indulgence, especially in alcohol, overconsumption, overconsumption, overindulgence, and that's that's what America uh, breeds off of, man. Okay, do as thou wilt. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you feel and do it. You know, everybody is caught up in their own lust. You know what I mean? Even if it's worshiping themselves, worshiping the woman. You know, our people are really into worshiping this money, or right, which ain't really money, you know. Worshiping um all type of shit, man. You know, our people are into everything under the sun. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to these idols and these other gods, you know what I mean? So all that intemperance is gonna be cut off, man. You know? Yeah, man. Let's see if they got any more. Lack of temperance, okay, self control. Restraint mod in moderation. You know what I'm saying? Excessive drinking of alcohol, you know? And that's you know, that could be taken spiritual too. Because a lot of people are junk off that damn that 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 wine, you know what I'm saying? Which is some other philosophies that Esau put out, man. You know? Right now it's it's so called um um <laughs> when this kingdom they hold it up, you know, it's Pride Month, you know what I mean? And then you had uh, Juneteenth that just passed. You know, a lot of people, they hold up them them uh, so-called holidays. You know what I mean? They hold it to heart, man. You know what I'm saying? When that really ain't nothing. All right. It says, uh, going back, 2nd Edger 7 and 44, it says, intemperance is at an end. Right. So that's going to be at an end. Infidelity is cut off. Infidelity meaning unbelief. All right. That's going to be cut off, man. Righteousness is grown, all right? And that's that's what you see now with, with all these camps, man, okay? Israelite camps, okay? Righteousness is growing, man. We're coming back to who we are, man, all right? And we're, getting, we're waxing stronger in the Lord, man, okay? And truth is sprung up, all right? Truth, all right? This is what's uh what's springing up in the, in the earth, man, and no longer uh, deceit. It's going to be held at a high standard, man. You know what I mean? Because it's impossible to deceive the elect, man. Let's get that one. 
the very elect. Yep. Matthew chapter 24, verse 24. It says, for there shall arise false messiahs, all right, and false prophets. And you got that um, at, at, at an all-time high as well, all right? But, that all, but all that's prophecy. You know, that's prophecy in itself. You know what I'm saying? Okay? You got uh, uh, among the circumcision, false prophets, you know? And you can see that if your eyes is open, man, you know? Yahweh Shai said, you shall know them by their fruit, you know? And we see that, man, the mother camps, they don't got it, man. They don't got it, man. You know what I'm saying? All right? And they've been paid off too, man. You know? Paid off by the damn devil. All right? It says, for there shall rise false messiahs and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders, insomuch that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Meaning that it's, it's not possible. Okay? The elect, the chosen, is not going to be deceived. Okay? What do you have a shot say in uh, John 10? Let's look that up. Um, John the 10th chapter. Uh, yeah. This is John chapter uh, 10. I start at verse 26. The point is in uh, 27. It says, but ye believe not because ye are not of my sheep, as I said unto you. And that's why. Um, you know, you, you see people, they, they don't believe what the, the apostles, you know, starting with the apostles on down, you know what I'm saying? They don't, they don't believe this doctrine. Why? Because they're not of Yahweh Shai's sheep, Yahweh Shai's sheep, Shai's sheep, man. Okay. The Lord just said it. All right. You believe not because you are not of my sheep. As I said unto you, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. All right. And I give unto them eternal life, and, and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. And that goes into the last scripture that we spoke about, you know, the elect not being deceived. Okay? It's impossible, man. Yahweh Shai said, they shall never perish. Neither shall any man, all right, any man come up with another philosophy, a seducing spirit. You know what I mean? False prophet. You know? Shall pluck them out of my hand, all right? Because they've been, the elect been hand chosen from the beginning, man, all right? My father, all right, Yahweh, all right? Because that's who Yahweh Shai father is, all right? Which gave them me is greater than all. And no man is able to pluck them out of my father's hand. You know, I and my father are one, meaning um, they're, uh, they're on the same accord, man. Same, same page, so to speak, okay? Not meaning that um, they're they're uh, one in together, you know the you know what I'm saying? Because that's that's another false uh, uh, philosophy that they teach out there, man. You know, because if if they're one, like how they say, you know what I'm saying, just one being, um, who is Yahweh Shai praying to in John the 17th chapter? You know, he had to be praying to someone, okay? Um, man, it was it was. Another scripture here. Uh, I thought. Uh, uh, let me see. Cause this is this is a good chapter, man. You know, but that was pretty much the point. You know. Let me see. I thought you how should I say other other voices they would not hear. You know. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's the point, man. You know, a truth is sprung up and um, uh, falsehood is at an end. OK, you know, but that was pretty much the point of this lesson. Um, um, Just like a quick hit. You know what I'm saying? Something I was thinking through the spirit, you know, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying unto you, brothers and few sisters out there. You know, closing it out. Want to give all praises, honor and glory unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Our double honest of the apostles, our great millstone who taught me this word. Why shall I want all you brothers out there teaching this word in truth and sincerity? Stay up, brothers. Shalom.